while back I posted a video about my DIY bike mount rig for my truck. It's been one of my most popular videos so I thought I'd do an update on it as well as a full tour of the vehicle which I've modified in many ways to accommodate mountain biking and traveling. So if you're not familiar, this is a 2003 Honda CRV EX which is the all-wheel drive model. It's the second generation of the Honda CRV. I had a first generation model several years ago and loved it, but it was very underpowered and a bit smaller. The second generation is everything great about the first, with some added space and significantly more power. Being a four cylinder, you still get to retain that somewhat decent gas mileage, typically averaging around 25 miles per gallon. But enough about the car, let's open up the hatch. As you can see, the two bikes are loaded and the size of the cargo area is more than enough to house them. My bike is a size medium and hers is a small, but I believe a large would not be a problem either. You do have to remove the wheels, which some people don't like, but I would much rather remove a wheel to have the bike safely in the vehicle than mess around with some sort of external rack and cable lock. Next to the bikes, we have the helmets mounted on some hooks here, which works very well. I used to just put them on the floor, but they would roll around while I was driving, which is not really good. I used a suction cup hook to hang the light mounts for our helmets here because they are easy to lose. I've also mounted a tire pump here for easy access. A milk crate works perfectly for keeping loose gear like pads, goggles, and shoes. I also keep several tools and tubes in the vehicle because you never know what you might need. Oh, and did I mention the CRV also comes with a table? Under the carpet you will find that the floor of the cargo area is actually a removable table with folding legs. There's also some extra storage underneath. I do still have my external rack attached here from when my friend went riding with us recently, but it removes quickly off the plate adapter and I usually just leave it off. Speaking of friends, it was necessary to remove part of the rear seat to fit the bikes. So I now have three seats instead of the original five, but 99% of the time, it's me, my girlfriend, and my dog Luna in the back seat when we ride or travel anywhere. I really haven't ever found myself needing the extra seats as we usually meet our friends at the trailhead and they have to transport their bikes as well. The removal of the seats also gives you the option to sleep in the back, which I have done a couple times. I have a twin size futon that I can take with me and then roll it out in the back and it's just big enough for the two of us and the dog. I've had a lot of experience over the years modifying cars and was very much into tuners before I got the CRV. But small fast cars usually don't afford much space for bikes and gears and can be very difficult to get to some of the more rural trails here in North Georgia, which are sometimes on dirt roads. But just because it's not a tuner doesn't mean it can't be modified. Little things like upgrading the stereo system or adding some convenience features make a world of difference when you spend a lot of time using the vehicle. So I mounted some LED lights on the rear of my cargo basket, which I also added to the vehicle. The lights come in handy quite a bit when we're setting up for night rides or need some light to set up a camp or something. The cargo basket also gives me some more storage room since a good bit is taken up by the bikes when they are in the truck. I painted the wheels black and tinted the windows, which in my opinion makes it look a hundred times better. Vent visors are also a no-brainer mod on any car since they're cheap and functional. I replaced the original headlight bulbs with LED ones which grant better visibility and I like the color a lot more than the yellow halogens. I also always replace the interior bulbs with LED ones because it's cheap and makes such a big difference in visibility and making the vehicle look a bit more modern. I've hardwired a radar detector into the vehicle after getting a couple very expensive speeding tickets. I'm not advocating that you should be speeding, but Georgia is known for speed traps and I'd rather spend my money on more bike stuff. I also wired in a full screen touch display head unit. It's just a cheap generic one, but for the price I'm pretty happy with it. It also has a reverse camera which has been a lifesaver when I'm playing gigs with the band and have to unload gear in tight spaces. And although I don't use it a lot, I keep a power inverter handy for when I forget to charge camera batteries or something and I'm on my way to go ride and film. And thanks to you know what, one of my cup holders here has been designated for hand sanitizer. 
There are a few other odds and ends I try to always keep in my vehicle for various emergency situations or just general utility. First aid kit, lights, extra clothes and shoes, a tripod, ratchet straps, water, etc. After years of having fast sporty cars, I really appreciate and enjoy having a vehicle that I can utilize and depend on for everything I do in my life. The second gen CRV is a great vehicle for that and I'll probably have it for quite some time. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Have you done anything similar with your vehicle? As always, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm working on increasing both the quality and quantity of content here, and your support helps me to do it. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications to stay up to date with the new content. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.